Matthew 13, I'm going to read two verses. Verse 42. I'm going to read 41 for emphasis. And then I'll read verse 42. And then I'll read verse 50. The Son of Man shall send forth His angels. And they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity and shall cast them into a furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth Verse number 49 of the same chapter. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth is that in your bible and my subject on tonight is a message from hell to those that are on their way Uh, a message from hell to those that are on their way because I just believe there are some folk who will not listen to the preacher no matter how much he warns them and I I recognize that there are some folk who may need a message from hell to those that are on their way I am positive that there are some folk that are on their way there are some Christians that are on their way they don't have time for church they forsake the assembly they don't work on ministry they just backbite but I've come today to take the position that there is a such place called hell and in that place there is eternal torment and in that torment you are absolutely conscious I've come today to tell you that I'm not just preaching this lesson to refute the Jehovah Witness doctrine, but I am preaching this lesson for those who have one foot in the church and one foot out the church. This message is for you that there is a place called hell. If you are one that have never been baptized for remission of sins, then I've come today to tell you There is a place called hell with eternal torment. There are some who would say, Brother Haywood, I don't have time for religion. I don't have time for a relationship with God. I am too busy with my own life and I don't have time to be religious. Well, I've come today to suggest to you that there is a place called hell with eternal torment torment in which I am fully conscious. I've come today to tell you, I've come to talk to the member who is coming to church, but they're not active in the church. I've come to talk to the member that has hate for their brother or their sister. I've come to talk to the husband who's abusive to his wife. I've come to talk to the parents who neglect their children. I've come to talk to the member who doesn't want to say anything about Jesus Christ. I've come today to tell you there is a place called hell with eternal torment in which I am fully conscious. Are y'all alright this morning? Well, Jesus, can I teach it out? Jesus says in Matthew 13, 
really he gives a series of seven parables. Two of the parables mention punishment. The first parable that mentions punishment is the parable of the tares. You remember when Jesus said, a man went out and sold good seed in his field. But while men slept, the enemy came and sold some tares among the wheat. By the time Jesus concludes this, he indicates that there would be a separation between the wheat and the tare. And he says they'll be gathered and burned in the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The second parable repeats the same language, which is the parable of the dragnet. Now, I need to help you understand the picture that Jesus is drawing from as he talks about this place called hell in which there is hell, fire, eternal torment in which I'm fully conscious. Now, uh, when you talk about hell, fire, the term that is used to describe this is called Gehenna. Now, Gehenna... That word paints the backdrop of which Jesus discusses and explains the concept of final torment in hell. Gehenna was a reference to the valley of Hinnom. And that valley of Hinnom went along the south side of Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, in this valley, they would take filth and dead animals and that which was garbage and put it in this valley where the fire burned constantly. That, and because it burned constantly, they called it an unquenchable fire. They would take waste and dead animals and filth and put it in this valley where the fire never stopped burning. This same valley was also mentioned in the Old Testament as the valley of slaughter. It was also mentioned as the valley of Tophet. Now, in this valley, the Jews, when they practiced idolatry, would take babies and they would take the baby and sacrifice it to the God they called Molech. Now when they took the baby, they would throw him in the fire as a sacrifice to this God. And in this valley, these babies would burn while they heard weeping and gnashing of teeth. But the word tuffet means to beat on a drum. So when they would throw the babies in the fire, they would try to drown out the sound of the weeping and the wailing and the gnashing of teeth by beating on a drum, trying to drown out the sound of the babies crying 